Hey guys, this is Andrew Spucks and welcome to another video. Um, if you're watching my, my video and this is your very first time on my channel, uh, please go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Uh, also, if you're watching and it's not your first time on my channel but you still can subscribe, uh, please go ahead, smash the subscribe button and show some support. So today's video is going to be quite refreshing, change of pace, nice and simple. So essentially I'm going to be just showing you guys how you can personalize right, and customize your freighters. Uh, yes guys it's possible <laughs> so you probably have just seen me build bases um, you know engage in beta and stuff but yeah it is possible to actually personalize your freighter so my freighter is actually a pirate dreadnought that I defeated in battle then I went on to seize it so yeah guys if you want to see any more of that content please smash the subscribe button and yeah I'll see you in the next videos where I can do follow up on how you can capture pirate dreadnought Alright guys, so the first thing is to actually get into a construction area. So if I press Z like this, you can see that nothing comes up. So I'm just going to have to go ahead first and make sure that I'm in a construction area. So the construction area is this area where you've got red and white walls. By default, you've got that room on the, on the right. So this room allows you to be able to manage your fleet. And then you also have another weapons terminal. So these come with your freighter, whichever freighter you get. So this corridor right here, I'm the one that built this. Um, I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. So essentially you have to press Z on your keyboard. That will bring up your construction um, 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 screen. And then you can be able to get elements to build. So yeah, let's see what we can do here, guys. I think I'm, yeah, over right here, I'm going to... Uh, Maybe we can add a, either a passage or a door. I think let's just chuck on a door and see what happens. So as you can see over there, guys, we've got a door. It's empty. It's just going to take us out of space. So, yeah, from right here, I think we can actually walk out into space. And, yeah, you can actually now land onto the actual freighter itself. And you can actually walk on this. Um, you can actually walk on the freighter. Just be careful to not fall off <laughs> into space. But yeah, you won't actually die because of course you've got your oxygen and stuff and it does, you know, there's no sun to actually burn you. So you don't need any thermal protection. But yeah, guys, this is pretty cool. You can actually walk on your freighter. Right here, this is the end of the corridor. So let's build some stuff here. So I'm just going to add um, a different room. Uh, I'm going to add a trading terminal. Uh, so that's the, like the first thing that I'm going to just add on there and show you guys how you can do it so let's add a trading terminal and yeah right there so you can actually walk inside the trading terminal now because it's fully equipped so as you can see i can now actually uh, walk around the entire trading terminal um, i can even interact with it right and sell stuff or buy stuff check this out so right there i can actually sell stuff i just sold my crystals um so yeah guys this is pretty cool so this is the first step right is you can already see that you can build right so all the stuff that you have that are equipped for your uh for your freighter you can actually build them within your actually within your freighter and actually personalize it so yeah just follow along guys i'll just show you around and how i'm gonna build i'm gonna build on the tunnel oh it's a it's a corridor so i'm gonna build a corridor over here and i'm thinking maybe what we can do guys is uh you know we are we, we are in outer space so we need some oxygen we need some plants so i'm gonna be with a greenhouse oops <laughs> so yeah so right now it kicked me out into space because i just built um a corridor that was turning so let me go back in my freighter so where's the door where's the door the door is uh right over there cool guys Awesome. So yeah, now we are back inside the freighter and we're just going to go back to that. So you can see this is the passageway that I built. It's caving all the way here. And yeah, I'm just going to go on ahead, guys, and build a greenhouse. So let's see. Because we need some life. We need some oxygen. We need some plants in here. So let's add this um, ag agricultural specialist room. Let's add that first. There you go, guys. So essentially, this is all that you ever need to do. As you can see, it's already fully equipped, but there's no one here to manage this room. So I'm going to have to first interact with the terminal like that and like that. We already have um, a farmer or a specialist. So then this person will help me you know, in future to actually 
research more plans but I, want, I feel like I should expand this. Cool, let's expand this room, right? Um, awesome. There you go, guys. So we've just expanded it. Now we've got a much more bigger uh, greenhouse, but we need to plant, you know, like we need some plants here because you can see right now I cannot harvest anything. So yeah, let's see what plants I have. So I've got solar, solar vine. Let's chuck one over here. Yes, this is good. And then another right here um and then now we can plant some uh garden flower that will give us fecum um yeah just like that guys and i don't think i can put it that i think two is the maximum here so far uh yeah so the other yeah i think this is good right this is good look at this look at this massive greenhouse guys uh so yeah this is like the very first thing guys i've already built a greenhouse um Think there's a limit i'm not able to expand the screen house any further you can see that it tells me they are limited to one per base so i think each uh construction um uh, unit or component can only be used once depending on what it is i believe so i'm not able to expand the screen house any further but i'm i'm quite happy with this size i think this looks really nice uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section and what you'd like to see right uh but already you know this is now personalized to me uh, let me see what else I can do, guys. Uh, so here we've got a trading terminal. I think I'm going to add a storage room right here because once you buy stuff from your trading terminal, you might want a place to store it. So I'm going to go on ahead and build a storage room. And let's check it next to the greenhouse. So that also like when you're harvesting, right, you also have a place where you can store stuff. So I'm going to put it in a unanimous place. Perfect. Now check this out guys. I can actually walk into my greenhouse and back into my storage room. And then from my storage room, I can actually walk straight back into my trading terminal. So this is a central storage area. I can actually chuck stuff. Look at this. You know, I'm interacting with it because it's fully equipped. Let's put some garden flower in there. Ah, oh, perfect. So yeah, I'm happy with this guys. I think it's coming together quite nicely, you know, like I'm personalizing this to me you can you guys can do whatever you want to do right um, so these components you can research them in the anomaly so there's a construction research area in the anomaly uh, but yeah for now let's check in a couple more components mm, this place yeah I need to just get that uh, hydrogen jelly that was purifying uh, and then we need to purify some copper to get some chromatic metal um yeah because we need chromatic metal to be able to build more components here <sighs> all right let's just take whatever we have now and then leave it continuing all right i'm happy with that cool guys let's build it right over uh, i think we can build uh a Stiller room, no, I think I'm gonna build a dedicated stiller room for now. Let's build something, uh, maybe like another storage room, eh? Because you're in the weapons terminal, so you need a whip uh, storage terminal. So let's put that there. And then this thing right here, it's a bit of an ISO. Uh, I'm gonna build a corridor for this thing because I've got nowhere to put it. And I'm gonna delete it, or I'm gonna yeah, destroy it, or maybe I'm just gonna like put it somewhere else. Mm. Yeah, let's build a corridor and see if we can chuck it in a corridor somewhere far away where we don't get to see it. Maybe behind that weapons. Yeah, cool. Let's do that. Yeah, let's carry this thing all the way here to the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's too big. It doesn't fit in a corridor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it back. Uh, because it doesn't fit here. As you can see, it's too massive. It will be blocking the entire corridor. All right. Uh, yeah, guys, I think I'm just going to destroy this thing, get it out of my freighter uh, so that I can open up some space. Mm. Yeah, just destroyed it now. Let's see. We now have really good space here, right? Uh, let's see whatever we have. Let's collect some resources. 
Nice. And then let's just destroy these things. Yes, guys. And now we've got a bit more open space. Let's remove that fan over there. Then we don't need that. Um, this weapons terminal. Let's move this right next to the wall. Right next to the wall. wall. Okay, this is uh, this thing is a bit of a pain just to try and align it. I think I'm gonna end up just destroying it and then maybe I can build it, build it from scratch. Yeah, I think that's the perfect way to do it. Let's just do it. Mm. Yeah, let's, let me destroy this thing. Now rebuild it. Alright, let me toggle my building camera. So yeah guys, if you press B on your keyboard, you see this, you now have your building camera. Yeah, now we just got it perfect. Uh, what else can we do here guys? I think we should add a table, right? Um, maybe a nice table with some chairs, uh, like a red table or white table. I think I'm gonna go with, uh, yeah, a red. And then let's just add maybe two, three chairs. Right. Uh, here another chair I think yeah let's get it out of the way you put a chair right here let's just align it perfect and then another chair right here uh, yeah and then the last chair I'm just gonna check it right around here cool guys let's see what else we can do I think we can add yeah this planetary globe you know, because when people are in this room, they're looking at tech. So they would also want to, you know, look at the planets that we're going to raid, I think. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a bit big, but I think it works. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think it works. So, yeah, leave comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'm happy with this, guys. I think this looks so good so far, right? It's now personalized. The room is much more open and free than what it was before. And right here, I've got my science terminal. Hmm. It feels like it's a little bit too hidden. Let's move that science terminal somewhere else. Um, yeah, let's move the science terminal. I think I'm gonna move it to that corridor that I built that I wanted to chuck the thing. Yeah, let's go put our science terminal all the way there. Uh, right there, cool. And then I think we might need a storage room as well for my scientist to just have like a room where he can store his gadgets and apparatus. So yeah, that works. But yeah, we've closed off that door, guys. The door that was taking us straight onto our freighter. As you can see, that was this is where the door was right here. So this is the door. So yeah, I might need to build that door again somewhere. Uh, this is the passage that takes me back to my, to my control room. Um, but when I walk from that passage, this is my weapons terminal. Uh, wait, where should a new door be? Like, where can I put a new door? Mm, should I put it right here? No. I think. Uh, Yeah, I think let's put it right, straight back where we were um, on the greenhouse. You know, I think we might want to open the greenhouse up to a bit more light. So, uh, I don't know what you guys think. I'm a little bit conflicted. Right? I want to build again that door that takes me out into, onto my freighter, outer space. Uh, but yeah. But before that, I think let's just snap a quick picture, guys, because my greenhouse is looking superb. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to snap a quick picture. I don't, yeah, I might use it as a thumbnail for this video, but if not, that means I found a better one. But, yeah, this is how you're going to actually do it, guys. You can actually get into studio mode, position your camera nicely, and take a really nice uh, screenshot like what I just did. Cool. Um, cool, guys. Let's continue building. Let's continue building. Um, 
yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this and if you are enjoying this and you still haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe um uh, yeah i'm just gonna build another potentially maybe i'll build that door right here mm. but first yeah let's add a passage um corridor over here first and then i don't want to get kicked out this time around so i'll try to be careful so i'll build that corridor while i'm standing here just like that yes so now we've added a secondary corridor outside and then i'll plug to extend that corridor into my greenhouse so right there so now that corridor is extended it creates a lot more room in my freighter as you can see now there's more space for me to walk around um, and from my greenhouse I can actually enter back into that corridor so yeah there's much more you know it creates a nice floor so yeah let's add that door again guys maybe between the the pillars of this passage like that nice let's see uh, <laughs> it's too dark here someone will actually fall out you know because it's too dark <laughs> uh, i think let's remove this door it's a hazard and then let's build it uh maybe on the side where i've got my scientist at least my scientist is a very smart man so you know he's intelligent otherwise he wouldn't be a scientist so let's build the door right here uh because we know that he's not gonna fall uh he's a smart man let's see if there's light here no that's so weird uh yeah but i think the sun is moved but it's fine my scientist is smart he won't fall off so i'm not concerned i'll just leave it as is All right, guys. Um, what else can we build? I think I'm gonna build um, a refiner room. All right. Let's add a refiner right next to my greenhouse. Yes. Uh, because once you collect and you harvest some plants, you wanna come and refine them. So I think this is the perfect place to do that. So yeah, as you can see, guys, this is fully equipped. It comes with a refiner. This refiner does not need fuel because it's on a freighter so yeah you can actually just mix around um, of course you need to know the right formulas but you can mix around different ingredients to get different products but yeah otherwise this is a refiner that you can use no need for fuel uh, so yeah this is this is brilliant right I, I quite like how this thing turned out together let's see what else we can build guys yeah let's see let's see what else uh how else can i personalize this for me um i think i want to show you guys my pirate dreadnought right now from the outside uh let me show you my spaceship from the outside so you guys see what it looks like but before that uh, i just want to start an expedition and leave my team uh, pretty much you know on a mission to get me some resources uh so i would now start that let's add all of them together as support and then the other guys uh, let's just send all of them together you know i want to send all of them together let's send these guys together as support as well the you know and then the last ones let's start the expedition shit i don't have the enough fuel so because i'm sending all my ships together let's remove two and let's see if uh, shit still not yet all right so let me craft some fuel da -da -da -da. i'm gonna craft that and let's craft more i think this is more all right cool so three tubes in one tube let's add more now i think i should have enough fuel Let's start again the expedition. Yeah, 
let's choose that. I think I wanna send them to the longest one them that might have more money. And we're just gonna send all ships together, all four of them. And then let's start it. Cool. And just like the guys, I've already sent all my ships on an expedition. Now you can come to the control room, which is right next to the captain. Uh, yes, then you're gonna turn right and then you go there. Not here, right here. Then you turn right again. This is where you can talk to your commander and manage your fleets. So you can see there we've got four. And you can actually check in on your ships to see their status. Yeah, guys, so I'm happy, guys. Um, yeah, so as promised, let me take you out and I'll show you my pirate dreadnought from the outside. So, this is my ship, guys, my main ship. Um, I've got that one. Um, oh yeah, I've got a couple of ships. Let me just show you smaller ships that I have. I've got this one here, a Fever Breath. Then I've got another holder over there. Um, I also got a new ship today, guys. So this is my brand new ship that I got today. It's an Explorer. Yeah, it's a C-Class Explorer. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so I've got about five, six ships, I think. Um, but yeah, let's go back to my main powerful ship, my favorite, which is this one, the Sentinel Destroyer. Yeah, guys. So shit, there's a pirate nearby. I'm gonna have to go and attack that pirate. Uh, oh shit, I was too close to my landing area, so it took me back into the freighter. Let's go on one more time. And let's, yeah, blast off. Nice. Now I'm just gonna hunt this pirate first. Yeah, but this is my Dreadnought guys, so check check this thing, check this beauty, beauty, beautiful thing. <laughs> but yeah, let's look for the pirate and let's destroy them first. But yeah, guys, uh, you saw there. That's my pirate dreadnought, that beautiful thing. That's mine. That's my capital ship now. Uh, yeah, if you wanna see a video where I can hunt and destroy dreadnoughts uh, or seize them. Uh, let me know and I'll do a video in the future where I can show you guys how you can do that um, yeah awesome so yeah let's just take a screenshot uh, of my ship and I can actually move the Sun you know to get good lighting like that so move the Sun over there and over there I think this looks better but I can move the Sun a little bit yes I mm, think it's okay. Let's take a screenshot. Cool. That's better. Cool. And just like that, guys, we just took a screenshot. Now we can continue. Let's destroy that pirate and then we can, yeah, end it off right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video uh, where I'll probably be hunting for pirates. And yeah, I'll show you guys how you can destroy the pirate dreadnought. Uh, or seize it for yourself like what, like what I did and make it my capital ship cool guys uh, so yeah if you guys have been enjoying this so far and you're having fun uh, please go ahead smash the subscribe button show some love show some support share the video with your other friends um, ask them to subscribe as well and help the channel get to 150 followers uh, or subscribers so yeah guys i hope you guys had fun and i'll see you in the next video